these from patron Saint Bob Fincutter. Bob Fincutter, you patron Saint of whiskey. We get our own. Ooh. Bling. Sounds like a wind chime. <laughs> That's the exact differential of a wind chime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you this open that one, I'll open this one. This is a one. standard. So this is uh, old standard whiskey, from, oh, also from Colorado. They this even is, stamped the wax top on right? it. Right? Yeah, that's this cool. This is Fort Collins, Colorado. Yeah. Now, if you're in Colorado, Colorado, they at this point have a reputation of having a surprisingly, number, uh, surprisingly large number of very competent distillers. Mm-hmm. King and ass. Everything from uh, Deer Hammer, I always forget, forget about Deer Hammer. Yeah, I know. Because that was our first yeah. foray into what Colorado was capable of years ago. You got to tell before we started oil. exploding, exploring other things. We I mean new strain of hands, yeah. but that was yeah, yeah. they Stand talk at length about but they're all organic, everything's organic, all the grains are organic, everything's yeah. certified organic. That's just a cool vibe. And then they make whiskey from it. I, I very much expect that angle mm -hmm. to be part of the culture of whiskey in Colorado right now. They say things like handmade with old world methods. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's pot still instead of column still bourbon. You just give it a little massage like you were in the early in 19th, the old world. Early 1900s. Maybe maybe it has the plague <laughs> in the old world style. Hey, you get Acapon over here. Maybe they amputate it with no medicine, no painkiller. Well, so you know, is, in the old here. world style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is bourbon. This is, uh, by the way, batch number forty-nine, barrel forty-nine. Okay. 14 months old. Okay, another young one. This is the second day in the road. Now, this smells like smaller whiskey. barrels. See how the wood's kind of proportionally? Yeah. It's the a, wood's it's, cranked up a little bit? And the cherry is front leading, too. Yeah. So this is a, a very, rye... A oaky, spicy cherry. A rye accent grain bourbon. Okay. Supposedly. I'm trying to get past that, like, slightly charred caramel candy. Mm-hmm. The uh, the barrel tannin is definitely there. He drizzled some sherry on it, and then the oakiness. I could almost be argued. A, it's almost a potpourri cherry for yeah, me. Yeah, it's very dense. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna try a sip. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa! Mm. It candy. Just, it shifted gears into like a cherried candy, like a yeah. hard, like a hard candy, in mm. a malt ball. I was going to say almost Jolly Rancher. Yeah. But you go multiple. This is very sweet. Yeah. And the char is lower than I would have thought from the Imme way it smelled. Immediately sweet. Yeah, the barrel tannin didn't kick in as much on the taste that you were getting set up for on the nose. Mm -mm. Hmm. It's not bad. It's going to be a little, oh, a little proof. What are we at? Proof down 45. There we go. So I'll bet the tannin was high until they added water and then it pushed all the sweetness to the front. Okay. Because that happens when we proof things down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I like it though. I do. Again, it's too sweet for me. Mm -hmm. I like it, I don't love it. Yeah, but no But for the age, faults, again, for the age. 14 months. That's, that is pretty impressive. I would age. like to see the barrel come back a bit because I was looking forward to it in the nose, even though it was young. Mm -hmm. I was hoping it wouldn't be a young, grainy, but barrel tannin forward. I, and it's not either of those things. It's not young or grainy, mm -hmm. and it's not barrel tannin forward. It's just very, very sweet. I acclimate to some of that sweetness and some of that cherry, and I get um, an oaky black tea on mm. the nose when you go back. Okay, we're going to switch to the rye, mm -hmm. a malted rye. Okay. And this one is also young. If I remember correctly, it was 15 months. Yeah, okay. this, you're about the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also but proofed down to 45. 45. There you go. Wow, that is, that is a spicy herbal apple. Yeah, I actually feel like I'm smelling a, a caramel-covered apple from a, um, from a candy shop, but instead of covered in uh, like the extra candies, mm -hmm. it's covered in like an herb roll yeah. of like, <laughs> of like rosemary or yeah. or like a dried herb garden. Yeah, yeah. There is a very herb garden quality to it. Yeah, yeah. And it's an apple, mm. not a not a not a cider. It reminds me of what a tea shop smells like. Uh, this actually smells. I need to stop saying actually so much. This smells more interesting. Yes. Because I've had this cherry note yeah. that was surprisingly nice at 14 months. Oh, speaking of cola, go back to the bourbons. Mm -hmm. Way more cola now. Oh, it is. Yeah. 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 Man, Alex, Cherry I think Alex set me up before he was leaving. He said, I was getting Dr. Pepper on the nose. Now I'm getting like that pruny Dr. Pepper yep. nose on this. Yeah. Okay. But this smells more interesting, more, more yeah. unique 
ish. I agree. Let's then, see what it tastes like. Yeah. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah. It definitely is simple. It mm. has that initial sweetness. No. It's mostly vanilla cream before it sort of kind of ends in this little light dusting of herbs and dried spices. You're not wrong. I want to poke at the word simple for a minute mm -hmm. because we use the word simple whenever we're describing things like, you know, a gimmick whiskey that looks like a bowling pin. We'll say oh, simple. No, no, no. Uh, so this is simple cheap. in terms of there's not a lot of layers. Yeah. But in terms of what is there at 15 months, mind you, it's actually really nice. I would say I don't use the word simple for that. I use generic or, you know, boring. But simple, I've had whiskeys that I like that are simple. Hmm. There are big brand whiskeys like Jameson that I like, but it's definitely got a simple palate. Between the two? I'm reaching for this. Me too. I'm going to land on the right, even though that surprises me. Mm -hmm. But because there is actually more complexity in the uh, bourbon, but I like the right better. And then I just picked it up. I just got PG Tips black tea. Ah, okay. Also, the balancing act. There's not a tremendous layering of tons of flavors here, but the handful of flavors that are there, they're really nicely balanced. Yeah. Yeah. At well 15 done, months, guys. to get a nicely balanced whiskey at 15 months, that's really great. All right. Yeah. Damn, though. Hey, they did not embarrass Colorado. You know what? This thing, this the should standards be in a Colorado. Standard. Oh, son of a. Did we both make the same joke? <laughs> the standards in Colorado are pretty good. I hate us. I hate us so much. <laughs> T Zero. The word you're looking for is atomizer. It's like yes! A spritz bomb. So a yeah. dozen people commented on that. Yeah, I just man. picked one at random. Yeah, yeah. But yes, atomizer. Cool. Yeah. That is a name that was invented during the World Fair. I guarantee you. Like when everyone was making future things. Right. I mean, not really, but it feels like, because I mean, that dates back to France. It takes it right? back to but the still. atomic level, sir. Yeah, this is an atomizer. <laughs> <laughs> Your lady with the gams is going to love this at home. <laughs> yeah, now you've, now you've gone back to the 20s. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you think of that? I like the rye better still, even going back. Yeah. The bourbon is kind of simple and basic, but not, but the rye's more interesting. It still holds up. Yeah. It doesn't get, you don't acclimate to the interesting things. Mm -mm. It stays interesting. They're, they're doing Colorado proud. Mm -hmm. Here's to fighting, stealing a drink. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your lipstick. And if you drink, may you drink with us.